We should carry an investigation of our own here in the city. Mayhap the residents can tell us more about the first of the transformations and the conditions under which it occurred. Times of the essence let us split into three groups that we may cover more ground. Let's say and I will see two Axis Path, Thanquet and Yistola, Premake for Dharma. I leave uh our third to Graha and you, Alexa. Yeah, let's go, Raha. Let's do this. Coming after that enormous beast, are you? Aye, I saw it. Including the very instant that poor bastard transformed. Damn the gods for putting me there. Started over there by the window. A few men, merchants probably, talking and drinking. Conversation must have taken a turn for the worse. Next thing I know, the leader I suppose he was, buries his head in his hands, and black mist was swirling about him. And his whole body bursts apart, and there stands a hideous, slavering beast, massive and foul, all gaping maws and bulging eyes. His friends start shrieking, then a black mist comes again until the change takes them to stuff of nightmares, I tell you. So it's like one changes, then everything around them starts to be affected. But why? Mm. Why, why, why weren't we affected, you know, as the Scions yeah, in the dungeon? By some stroke of fortune, I was able to slip outside before the beast got its claws on me. But the sight, gre- the sight that greeted me offered no solace. The blue sky above turned red as blood. Married, myself and the other survivors clung to each other for dear life until the radiant host came to our aid. Wait, did I hear you correctly? The beast manifested before the sky began to burn. I'm certain of it. The windows over here offer a clear view of the sky, and I saw nothing out of the ordinary until the beast appeared and began to rage. We're investigating the so-called blasphemy on the satrap's behalf. We hear it was one of your customers, a merchant, that first underwent the transformation. What can you tell us about him? Kalzal was his name. Oh no! He ran his own consortium dealing primarily in the exports of the var- oh. Specialties. Oh, yeah. It's through him that we met Matsya. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I remember that guy, man. Do you remember him now? I do. A goddamn struggling, struggling businessman, you know. If I recall correctly, Carl Zeller ran a trading operation at Yedelmar. Was there that you made uh, Matsya's acquaintance? It was clear that he had fallen on hard times as of late. Those ghastly towers popping up everywhere cannot have been good for business. Alright. You got a theory on what's making them change anyway? No, not particularly. <gasps> Kazar. I, I know him. In fact, we spoke just the other day. Like many others, his business was doing poorly. Still, it seemed as though he'd managed to turn things around, thanks to a generous order from R- Reveda Fibers. Reveda. Why, he was practically dancing in the streets. Just the other day. I haven't spoken mm. with him uh, since, but I assume it all went well. Uh, Jin Baha, maybe I'll tell you more. Uh, as I recall, he was the one who broke the arrangement. Pardon me, but are you in charge of buying and selling here? Yes. We have a few questions that we'd like to. I'm sorry, but I simply don't have time to chat. You haven't noticed? We have our hands full at the moment. We must carry all our wares and equipment to safety of all those accursed beasts return. And in case, might we be of assistance? Perhaps we could uh, speak when the job is done. Oh, for God's sake, Raha! <laughs> Very well. Oh, his face mask is actually slightly transparent. You can start by helping us move our equipment. I'll see others what to put where. Look at Raham and little MMO gamer man. And you can carry our fabrics. Because with that, don't speak with Kamala. Must resist. <laughs> Getting political. Must resist. Sorry for employees only. I doubt. Who's your Kamala. fucking told? Whoa. <laughs> What's that? Come to help. Oh. <laughs> Praise be to Minduva. You've carried all the crates to the storehouses, you say? And so quickly, too. Why, I've never seen anyone so strong. I and my associates will see to the rest. So please to return to Shinbara and assure him our work is proceeding apace. To tell the truth, we are grateful for this distraction. Too many terrible happenings as of late. Generous souls like yourself giving me hope that we may emerge from this trial even stronger. I pray we meet again, more peaceful times. Look, hope! Giving me hope! We must give hope to everyone! Here we go, dude. You think that's what, it, you think that's what might be, dude? We need to give hope and love to everyone. People get yeah. all despondent and they just explode into a chaos entity. Maybe the sky is like the flower. So if everybody is terrified and scared, it goes to the dark and dim colours. But if everybody is happy and hopeful, it's maybe nice that's and bright. A yeah, maybe that's it. Hey, I tell you what, I'm still thinking about. By the way, maybe this was answered and we missed it. But Yishtola, when we were in the first tower, the Tower of Babel, mm. was it the Tower of Babel? No, before that was the tower here in Redzatan. She says she tower saw of Zot. a yeah. she saw a limb a in limb. the Tower of Zot. Mm. 
What the hell was that all about then? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I have no clue what the hell that was about now. Now I think back, like, because I thought, oh, is it like pieces of Zodiac that are going to be combined or something? Like, I, I didn't really know. I was just reaching, you know, and mm. grasping at straws, but I still don't really have a clue. Yeah, did we miss that? I have no idea, man. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll get revealed in. Okay, well, my thanks. Now, where's if he stored away, we'll not lose any more to those fiends. You knew the merchant Kazal, did you not? I believe he had some dealings with your establishment. Yeah, because he was like, he was like patient zero, you know, as far as we know. Kazal, I know him too. I know him well. We'd arrange for this consor- uh, for, the- for his consortium to deliver a large shipment of fabrics, but in the end, we received a better offer and had to turn him down. I understand his business is struggling, but so is ours. Another of our most reliable trading partners agreed to transport the goods for a much smaller commission, uh, and we'd be fool- we'd have been fools to refuse. I tried to put on a brave face when I delivered the news, but his dejection and despair were plain as day. I could tell he'd all but given up hope. And that word again. Mm-hmm. Dejection and despair. Oh my god, man, if I call, if I actually fucking called this in the dungeon from like a couple of little lines. Wait, could that be it? That such intense emotions were what triggered his transformation? Yes, Raha. I think that's what it is, Raha, man. That's my hypothesis. Much remains unclear, but I believe we are drawing closer to an answer. It's so subjective, though. At any rate, we must discuss our findings with the others. So, like, if you have no idea what's going on, you're at no risk, really? Well, no, it's not that. Like, you can still panic and stuff, but if you've lost total control and your emotions are actually taking over you, like a lot of people do when they're grieving or, like, it's such a sudden loss or such right. instant panic, they kind of lose themselves, don't well, they? It feels more like a, lo- like a loss of hope, seems the key. So it's like very Dark Souls-esque, you know? And I just want to mention as well, it's like the more of the world that falls, the quicker the people who remain will fall in that case, you know? Because it's like, oh my god, all of Aeolzi is gone. Yeah. You know? And you're here at Radzatown and you hear about that, it's like, well, we are so fucked, and then next thing mm. you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh. My god, is everyone all right? I saw a terrible beast. Whatever is the meaning of this, where is this a trap? The merchant Karzal was gravely concerned about his business in the days preceding his untimely end. More than gravely, it was doomed by the sounds of it. Yeah. And he went from high joy to like the hopelessness. Tales we heard you know. were much the same. True. The first victims to be changed into blasphemies were all overcome with anguish of one manner or another. Then those who saw their loved ones stolen before their eyes succumbed to a similar panic, setting in motion a chain of transformations. Fear. Unease, despair. These negative feelings serve as a catalyst. God. If so, then it is not unlike the calamity that befell the ancients. With their creation magics, they unwittingly gave form to untold horrors. Had they simply lost control, surely it would have manifested in many forms, not all of them monstrous. Yet somehow, True. this phenomenon is triggered solely by the darkness in their hearts. A common thread with what we now witness. <sighs> common, but not identical. While the beasts the ancients faced were forged with magic alone, those of today are born of sentient beings. Why remains to be seen. But there is one fundamental difference between us and our predecessors. Our souls are sundered, whereas theirs were not. Perhaps that single variable makes all the difference. There was another detail that troubled me. Karl Zahl's transformation took place before the skies began to burn. Yeah, multiple witnesses, men. What? If that's true, then the situation's more dire than we realized. It means even if there's no ominous sign presaging the final days, anyone, anywhere, has the potential to become a beast. Don't panic too much, Alice. Yeah, stop even panicking. Even lands we thought safe, even as we speak. Man, you just, if someone set in the group says panic and just knock them clean out, you know? Yeah. Just flatten them. Speak hope unto the people. My countrymen, I am relieved and heartened to see you strong and safe. God, what about the people in Galamal then? Like While any the survivors there might be passed, turning right now? Far from it. Allow me to assure you that the beasts that raged within the city walls have been exterminated to the last. I pray these tidings put your minds at ease. And help you calm your hearts. 
have faith that we shall soon conquer this terrible trial. Well, I'm feeling reassured already, Min. Your Excellency, is there any word from Palaka's stand? Oh, this is the problem, though. My grandson was bound for oh. there yesterday, and I, I worry for his life. Do you lie to them so they don't... still awaiting a report. But I promise you, as soon as I have ought to share... <gasps> you, Your Excellency, I bring grave news. Oh, don't make it be about that stand that Hughes is talking about. You are? Mm. I, I'm Matia <gasps> of, of Akiali. A humble fisherman. Oh. Big Metzia. Ah, I remember you from our first visit. Uh huh. Wait, y you're. Yes, we're back, Metzia. No, but what the people who helped you, selfish. No, that can wait. When the skies turned red, I set off for Palakistan. stand. Fearing for the safety of a friend. Don't say it, Matsya, that old woman's gonna explode. I near the village. I saw dreadful beasts all about. No! Gods have mercy! It is, isn't it? Your Excellency! Save my grandson, I beg of you! Uh. We will spare no effort to save all we can, but you must remain calm. Calm? You tell me to be calm? You saw those beasts! They tore our bravest warriors limb from limb! What if we are too late, huh? Did they catch him? Stick their fangs into him? The fangs! Oh, oh for fuck's sake! Anxious old lady! Now! We need to get the other people away to stop the chain reaction, man. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Be brave, young people. Be brave. Don't panic. <laughs> fuck. Oh, she's picking a kid too, just to oh, For fuck. Oh my god, man. And this could be happening anywhere in the world right now, by the way. Like this, these scenes. Oh my god, that's a fucking creature of nightmare right there. We've got to kill them before it spreads. We'll handle yes, this. Hurry, hurry. See the townspeople to safety. <sighs> as fast as you can. Philip. Get up, younger man, Alain. Oh. No. Hey, what the hell is that thing? Oh my God, man! This is. Oh God! Oh, I was gonna say, Father. Oh no! Oh, oh my God! And he just God, squished dude. him. Well, he's fucked as well, isn't he? Oh, bye, Father. Can I do something? Oh. Oh. Go, oh, Your oh, Excellency. Dude. Don't squish him. Don't eat him. Don't eat him. Oh, don't eat him. Save him. Our people, you must save them. No, come on. We can do something, dude. I have spells. Oh my God. You eat him. Oh, now I pull my book out. Enough. You must oh. run. For their sake and your own. Oh. Talk to them, Raha. Go, Raha, dude. Yes. We'll Come. Survive. I'm in the satrap, though, dude. Oh, that's so horrible, man. He, like, steps up and, like, takes lead, you know? Like, truly, not just being, like, a puppet to the worm for all this time. And he's rewarded for being eaten, dude. Oof. Holy shit, thank you, dude. Stop his legs. He's sure the fucking popping off. Oh. 
give them hope, Alfie. <sighs> Jesus, is he gonna teleport everybody? Okay, one, one down. But every one that spawns, then creates like five more around it. What's he doing? I think he's gonna teleport people. He's gonna say, fuck this. Be strong, my friends. Fear not, for we will defeat these abominations. Let's go, Crystal Exact Raha. <laughs> That's the most exact thing I've heard. Brave men and women of the Radiant Host, lend your stola and thank with your aid. Let not a single beast escape. He is, but he's going full. Go look at this. See this place. Carry the wounded if you must. Head indoors or underground. Let's go, man. I'm Above so proud of him. Stay <laughs> calm. No beast will follow you. We will see to that. Oh my god, man, that was so cool, dude. <laughs> Alphano, Alize, leave the city to us and make for Palika's stand at once. Matya, show my friends oh. to the village. I promise you, they're more capable than the host's finest. R right. Let's go, Matya. Go with them, will you? Rah. We will save these people, as many as we can. Oh. After that speech, I'll listen to anything you say. Let's fucking go, man. He just became like the Lion King. He went from Simba to the Lion Simba King man right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, dude. Alice. Oh, there's you. I see you again. Yay! Hi. Damn it all. Staying calm isn't exactly my forte. That's yeah. Well, it's gonna have to be, I'm afraid, Alice. We meet again. You do, you do remember of me, course. yes? Of course, yeah. You see my skin cries over yellow mad. Now I find myself trying to have once more. But let's tarry here no longer. Oh my god. You see what it said? Grand something, I missed Grandma. it. Grandma. Oh no! Oh. Tell me that wasn't the kid, man. Did it say grandma? It said grandma. It said fucking grandma, dude. Man, this is this terrible, dude. This music is fantastic. Oh, yeah. The atmospheric music. Like, it's genuinely increasing my APM. Okay, there's some people here. Not everybody's gone. We might have just killed the grandchild of that old woman, but... Oh, what's happened to them? Wait, what do you mean? Yuruvet, what happened? The horror. I pray the sisters will see us through this calamity. Hold close to your faith, my friend. Alfie. Good work, Alexa. I worry for Matsya. Matsya, don't you fucking dare, man. I will drop kick him in the head if he starts talking all despair, man. And knock him yeah. clean out. It it cannot be. We must heal those we can and quickly. You say no beasts, but stay your guard. Look, oh. Matsya! Everything is gonna be fine! Well look me we don't look worried. No, we're not worried at all. We hype? Yeah. Right. You might be having the opposite effect. Oh, Elixir. Elixir. This is Yuruvet, the elder here. He's hurt, but praise be to the sisters. He still lives. That's him. Do you perchance remember uh, Karasaf and Mevan, the young couple who always brought, uh, bought your fresh sketches? How can I forget, elder? When I first came to peddle my wares, desperate to eke out a living, they showed me so much kindness. Alas, I fear they are in terrible danger. I saw them running towards the Gama Temple. Uh, one of those beasts in close pursuit. They had their child, still but a tiny babe. To elude these fiends while caring for one so young is an impossible task. Surely. I beg of you, go to their aid. I, I want to help them. Yet I am but a fisherman. I cannot face beasts on my own. Will you come with me? Of course, Matia. Maybe you should stay here and I should go. Oh, thank you. And my temple lies to the west of here. We must hurry. No, please, stay back. Bah. Me. It was Karis F. Oh no, this is not good. Wait here. Look. No, no, no. Oh. Wait here. Three, two, one, click. Wait here. Yes, I understand. The guy came from the ruins. You must hurry. Yeah. Wait there. Do not follow. 
fucking absolute destruction, dude. Rex. Can I save you? Fine. Three, three two, one. two, one, click. Good scene, good scene, good scene. Is he surveying? No. No. The man lies motionless on the ground, bearing a grievous wound. Matthew, don't run up from behind, please. Oh, fuck's sake, no. there he is. I'm sorry, Alex. I, I tried to stay behind, but I couldn't. Don't do it, Matsia, dude. He's not gonna get all despair in now. No, it cannot be. The mother and child is still not found. <gasps> is someone... anyone? My arms are so heavy. My legs. I cannot feel my legs. My wife fled with our daughter. I need to find them. I need to be with them. No. Oh, Karasaf, you must stay strong. I don't want to die. Oh, bloody hell. Speak to him, maybe. You keep talking to him, man. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Wait, maybe we do one each. It's gonna make it now. Let's pick the same one, man. I, I don't want like getting out of sync. All right, dry his tears. Feels like speak to would be the obvious one, doesn't it? So I mean, mm. maybe to show him some dignity. Oh. Oh. What do we do? Thank you. Please find them. My man still lives, and she has their child. Give me Karasef. Once we have saved your wife and child, we will return and lay you to rest. For fuck's sake, he's just doomed no matter what. Oh, but he died without changing? Yeah. That's interesting. I thought that they couldn't die without changing. Because they said that people who were cut down rise again, you know. As the, as the fiends. Mm. So I'm not sure anymore now. Oh, come on, dude. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake. The woman and the baby. Help them, help them, help them. No, I'm, I'm sure of it. Lemon! Don't, please. Oh, don't listen to Evan. Yes, fight back. Rick. We're gonna run. Help, help me. Okay, dude. Oh, let's go! Shit! Yes. Fucking hell, this thing's strong as shit! It is strong. <sighs> yeah, good. Run, 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 run. Why the hell does it fix it? No! no. Fucking no. no! She held on. Catch her! In the, oh, she's in the water. Was that? God have mercy! Fancy, get yourself in. Oh, we're going in. I'm in. Go, go, go. Oh, I thought it was going to crush her head. I'm not going to lie, man. We're underwater, are you clearly right? We're yeah, underwater. Yeah, here we go. Go, 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 go. Fucking sprint. Do anything. Right. Fucking sprint. Three, two, one, one click. click. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Yeah, where, where, where's the baby? Where the fuck is the... Hey, life... No, she's <sighs> dead. Her death no doubt came swiftly. Her infant daughter, however, is nowhere to be seen. Baby. There, there. Child. Baby. Fucking three. three. Two, two, one. <laughs> she leaves, you cannot tell me. She will oh, surely survive and she can carry the surface at once. Go, go, go. Someone else is doing it as well. <laughs> go, Priscilla. Oh my god. Okay, we're out. Uh, where the fuck do we go? Where the shit do we go? How do we get out? Stairs. You have the child on. Let me see her. Heal the baby. The healing, the healing. Just make a wee sound. Yeah, just She's cry. So cold, Elphina. She's so cold, Elphina. It's gone. It's unclickable. The child unclickable. is alert. Yeah, and yeah. I see no wounds, and yet <sighs> she grows weaker. My spells can do no more. What she needs is a change of clothes and a warm bed. We must hurry back. Oh, for God's sake! Not now. More of them. Use get you, men. Take the child. Go, Matsya. Oh my god, look at the little oh, baby. Oh, look at the little baby. Here's we've made enough noise to be heard for miles around. More will be upon us ere long. Stop shouting, Alfie. We make our stand here. Matsya, can you take her back to the village? 
You can't be serious. Nancy, it's time. The beasts will follow you have you to. Home unless we stop them here. And so we shall. Cold men. Right. I. I can do it. Let's go. Cool. Yes, you can. I know you can. We'll keep them busy, Matsya. Go! Quickly! <laughs> oh, go, dude, please. Please go. Steady. You know the way. Oh, God. No, baby! No, baby! No. Baby! No! Not you, Speak to him, Matsya. Yeah, he's her. crying. Speak to her. She, she's, is it she? She. Speak oh, to her. Rock her. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To live is just Don't a, be to afraid. Think of calamity. It is a perilous path. Death lurks in the dark. Oh. No, no, come on, Monsieur. No. You can do it. Not afraid. I'm not mm -mm. afraid. No, oh. you're not. Do not avert your eyes. See, see your life for what it is. Look into the eyes see of the serpent, men. Hardships make you strong. Every doubt reforged. No, 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 no. Every agony. no. Oh, fucking hell, man. <gasps> what be that? Is it in? Yes. Oh. Oh. The divinity. Oh, man. Nay. But one who would deliver thee just the same. Ah! <sighs> you must save the child. I was ready to have a fucking break down there, she man. Is all that remains of Mevan and Grasif. Please. Seems the babe's taken a liking to you. <laughs> I spied our friends as we flew in. They appeared to be holding their own against the horde. Man, okay. Fucking well, relax now, me. If I'm gonna turn into a goddamn right, mm. she... that's the last of them. We should hurry and find Matsya. <laughs> how the hell did we know that? Yeah, how did we know that? But I guess we use it. Need help from on high. What, like divine aid? Something a like that. battle it must have been. Shame I missed it. Astinian, it was you who came to Matia's aid. I was only along for the ride. Vritra was the one who saw the boy was in need. The two are headed back to the village. Will you go and join them? There's something I need to do first. Alice. She needs to do first. Mervyn gave her life so that her child might live. Hmm. She deserves better than to be left to drift alone. I'm assuming she's having she all kinds of flashbacks. To rest you know. beside her husband, at least. Will you help me? Man. So see, even if you like, if you die believing in something, and you die with some hope for what's to come after you've died, you yeah. don't seem to come back. You know, you don't. You don't change yeah. before maybe the, the last breath leaves you at least. Uh, we've done what we can. That's for the villagers of Palakistan to perform the funeral rites. Nothing else, Mivan and Kursav died as they lived, as themselves and not beasts. The source will find peace in the ethereal sea. In the case, let's head to Palakistan. No doubt Vitra is awaiting us. Young Matsya returned with the babe safe in his arms. Owing, uh, owing to a warm bed, the girl had already begun to regain her strength. It was great and merciful worm. I have not the words to express my gratitude. They say that if it were not for you, brave Matsya and, that, uh, and the child would have been lost to us forever. 
Long had I heard the rumors that a mighty dragon had forged a pact of friendship with us a trap, but never would I have expected such a kind and gentle soul. Truth in part, but not in whole. <laughs> Looking to his tinian. He says, go on then. Tell him. I am Vitra, and for years and counted had this isle served as mine abode. An isle I have ruled over as the drop, with Ah Ahwan as my loyal servant. My ears to be believed? You were this true Satrap all along? Who's this? <gasps> is it? It's uh, it's it? got what's her name? Nidhana? Yeah, yeah, Nidhana. Nidhana, but yeah, it is Nidhana. Nidhana, what are you doing here? I wasn't sure if it could have just been some same, she's, someone in the same dress. She's fine, or she's alive. I heard from the Radiant that you had gone to help the other people of Palaka's stand in their time of need. And so I and several of my colleagues from the Great Work came to offer our services. The alchemists have already brewed up some potions for Mervan's daughter. Once more will my colleagues and I commit to the, knowl the knowledge and resources at our disposal to the mission of aiding people in this the darkest hour. To see this place is in good hands. I would return to see how rides at hand fares. And what will you do, Sions? I worry for the survivors we met at Prusa. Should we pay them a visit before making our way back? In that case, might I ask a favor? Nothing too burdensome, I promise. This way. It would seem the situation is even more grave than we suspected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use the knowledge, your knowledge to see if it can further our own research. And with that, here we are. A, pi a pot of piping hot chai, <laughs> brewed from my own secret recipe of spices and tea leaves, together with hearty helpings of rich milk and purest sugar. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? The drink has medicinal properties, then. No, this is going to be comforting, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Not in the least. These ingredients are quite ordinary. It's so very tasty though, and has a way of lifting the spirits. Sometimes the best medicines are the simplest. You, she's like such a grandmother, isn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a spot of tea. Thank you for delivering the chai, Galanis. Did it help lift the villagers' spirits? Yeah, it did actually. Yeah, I'd say so. That's heartening to hear indeed. The final days show, show no signs of abating, but that is more reason why we must try to keep our composure. Can I just say as well, really what? quick, was Nidhan who brought up that idea of emotions being more powerful than just feelings? Yeah, she was you telling know? us about the the study of it, yeah. Yeah, so I'm wondering now if like the, the whole turning into these abominations has more to do with their magic, and that's why we don't know anything about it right now, you know? Like it's yeah. a totally unexplored field. Mm. So it's Maybe. more than, it's not as subjective as we think, you know, there is actually like a science behind it, you know, that we just don't understand yet. Yeah, maybe. Okay, but see, like, maybe that's the key. Maybe that's the difference between us and the ancients, you know, mm. is that they were basically immortal. Yeah. Right? It's like they were basically fucking immortal creatures, all powerful, isn't that? So when tragedy started befalling them, they just fell into despair. Because it was never yeah. something they'd had to tolerate before, but us, it's like us in our sundered forms, like Alfie hinted at earlier. He was like, the only difference is we seem to be sundered, so is it affecting us differently? Maybe our weakness is our strength, you know? We actually yeah. have more character than the ancients had. Like, we've had, we've had to bury people and bury friends and this and that, you know, so we can actually deal with the trauma much more. You think maybe that's it? Mm. Oh, Vashan! Is it? Look! Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Is he gonna... Yeah, he's using Vashan to reveal himself oh. slowly by the looks. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is, and know that he means you no harm. Less than no harm. Who's Less than no as? harm. Breacher is here to help, yeah? And it's been him all along. And it's literally him, yeah. <laughs> oh. He's making a grand entrance. A dragon. This is all part of the plan, people. This is what we're showing you. It's not just mm -hmm. a random dragon showing up. Wow. All right, the kids like it. Yeah, yeah, okay, the kids are behind it. People of Radzathan, I am Vritra. And for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. Today, 
I would reveal the truth unto you. Let us hope they accept him. Damn right, Rahab. I mean, you're not going to fucking turn down a dragon at a time like this, eh? To be honest. Mm. <laughs> I don't care how goddamn cynical you are, you know. Hey, what do you think of that, there, Justinian? A sight that would have surely brought a smile to his ale's face. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Team Heaven Sword. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, what the fucking hell did they want? Ooh. And it's actually him, too. Yep. Captain Dickin. Oh, Excuse man, me. Like, oh. But I must speak with the Sartrap at once. You're looking at him. I am Sartrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. Oh, God, do you think the people choose to run or try to save their home now? The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion. By securing a means of escape. Why didn't they split it up? Half to a means of escape, half to try and prevent it. Escape this star? What madness is this? No, you could have got all in with one or the other, don't you? True, true. Can't split yeah. your resources. It's by no means madness. With the coming madness. of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the red moon Dalamud was revealed. But what of the Silver Moon? This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies. A ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction. It is for that very reason I come before you and your people. To answer any and all of your questions. To offer my assurances and allay your fears. Yeah. <gasps> Nidana! Nidana, Nidana! What's happening, Nidana? She, she's stampeding. Oh, you're still here. What a relief. Okay, so she seems quite happy. She's I got some teeth for your thoughts on a theory of mine. Oh, here we go, man, here we go. Who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it, mm -hmm. then, that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? They must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. Yeah, like the emotional power, which we don't yeah. have a name Artisha. for yet. Yes, That's the I one. remember. Mm. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. So their energy is from An despair in... influenced solely by emotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes. In this instance, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. Ah, do you still have that flower? I do. I hope so. Uh. Oh no! Oh. <gasps> oh no, it's gone! My flower! Nidana, what did you do? If we died! That it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. I will continue my research into Akasha. Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Alright, man. Big needy. I like the dynamite. As far as we have come, and after all the horrors we have seen, there is still so much we do not know about the final days. Could it be as Nidana said, that the cause of this phenomenon is beyond our comprehension? And if so, are we powerless to forestall it? Greetings, honored scions of the seventh dawn. I have a message from His Excellency uh, the Satrap. Brave scions, you have my gratitude for aiding my people in this most trying of times. Alas, Madis here at Megaduta prevent me from meeting you all in person. What the fuck? As a token of my appreciation, I have arra uh, arranged for a feast to be held in your honor. May it nourish you in preparation for the trials ahead. Feast! Mm. Such are the way of the Master Vitra. Feast he speaks of a witch with the Mujibjab Mumihani. Pray make your way there, whatever your business here is done. Oh my god, it's feast time. Ah, do you, Alexar? There's something we had hoped to introduce you uh, to you in particular. I am loath to detain you further. May you spare a moment of your time. A personal invitation? Knowing full well your services are in the highest demand right now? This must be important. Worry not, we'll save some food for you. We'll take all the time you need. Why can we never go no. to feast? I want to go to the feast! No, they're all gone. 
we weren't allowed to go to the ball in a realm reborn. There was a lie about going to a dan like a, a feast on the, the first. festival in there with, with the, the festival was really in Gaia. Yeah. And now we're not gonna get to go to this one. Fucking bullshit, man. All we get is good them takeaway in our dorm. Although to be fair, that was pretty cool. That was sick, but that's only happened once. Yeah. Thank you, friend. When you're ready, please join me in the Etherade Plaza. I shall go on ahead. Right, well, hurry up then. I want... And fuck everything, oh, man, in the shit city, dude. 